I'm Pauline MacLean and I've been sponsoring children through World Vision for about 20 years now. And that's why I'm here today in Kenya, because we're in the Gakungu region and World Vision Ireland is phasing out of the area because this community is self-sufficient and ready to go it alone. It's taken over 15 years just to be sure that everything's in place and it's really one of the very proudest moments for everyone involved. It's an amazing achievement. World Vision has helped set up a number of community-based organisations to manage and expand the development projects in the area so that when World Vision goes, the work will continue. We visited the community-based organisation in charge of water to find out how they're getting on. Uhuru, yes. you are the chairman of this water project. Yes, I am. Can you tell me what's happening here? Here, um, we are digging trenches to lay our pipes. Mm -hmm. We used to spend the whole day look, mm -hmm. uh, searching for water. Mm -hmm. And now we have brought water close to our people. Mm -hmm. And it has changed our lives. Mm -hmm. And these pipes will go to how many new houses? About 300 houses. <laughs> <laughs> I know that World Vision is, is leaving you now to continue this work because you know what you're doing. Mm. Um, you will just keep going, yes, in the area? Yes, we have to. Yeah. We have to because we are, we are supported by the community and the World Vision has given us uh, enough knowledge mm -hmm. to do the job. Yes. We are taking over. Oh, yes. You try. Yeah, it's very good. Well, yeah. is, actually. Yeah. Hey. Oh, <laughs> it's like hitting rock. 45% of the community now has access to clean running water within a 30-minute walk. Now, although that's a great improvement, it still means that many people are still collecting water from dirty ditches. It's back-breaking work, it can take a whole day, and typically it's done by women and girls. So having clean water close to home means that more girls are likely to be free to go to school. Community-based organisations are now ready to run their own water projects without World Vision. They'll expand them, they'll run them and include more and more people in the community so that more houses will have access to fresh, safe water. We all know the weather is erratic now. It's gone a bit mad, to be honest with you. And chronic drought is really only a day away ever. World Vision works with farmers to help them cope with drought. I went to meet some of them and was stunned by the welcome I received. They showed me new farming methods, like the use of drought-resistant seeds and zy pits. Now, zy pits are holes dug for planting crops and filled with manure and compost. The crops grown in the zy pits need less water as the soil retains the moisture. And they grow a wide variety, including maize, potatoes, beans, nuts, bananas. And is it much larger than what you would grow outside the zy pit? can grow larger than this. Even but larger. Outside the zy pit, you can have maybe half of it, the best that you can get. Ah, uh, nice, yeah. Half of this. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's uh, it's so lush and healthy looking. This one will be going for about a thousand shillings. Wow, a thousand shillings. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'll put it under my arm. <laughs> <laughs> they even gave me a cooking lesson. On the menu, ugali. Oh. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, I'm just, uh, I'm good for modelling clothes, but, you know, I'm no good. I would make a bad wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Education is hugely important. To have any chance in life, a child has to be able to read, to write, and to count. A child who can do all of these things, who's educated, is less likely here in Kenya to, say, be exploited or to be forced into an early marriage.
Parents in Kenya are just as ambitious for their children as Irish parents are. World Vision may fund the building of the classrooms, water tanks and loos, but parents play their part too. Often they buy the bricks or they provide the labour. And because it's their own sweat going into getting the school up and running, they make sure that their kids go to school. Primary school enrolment in the area is now 97.3%, with equal numbers of boys and girls attending. World Vision funded this new school latrine, which was officially opened by yours truly. It's a personal first for me, thank you Agnes, uh, to open a latrine complex and one of my proudest moments. <laughs> oh. Lose in a school are important for more than one reason. Basically, if lads are stuck, they can hop behind a bush for a wee. But girls need privacy. If there are no latrines in a school, the girls are likely to stay at home rather than be seen and be teased by the boys. I sponsor a little boy in Tanzania, so I know myself that when you become a child sponsor, you can form a personal relationship with the child. You write to them, send photographs, send birthday cards, yes. tell them how you are, and they, in return, will send you news about them and their families. This one is Patrick, my sponsor. Now, the money that you sponsor the child with doesn't go to the child directly. It goes to the community in general. And in that way, the community then can afford water projects, education. They can learn sustainable farming that will feed the families for many generations to come, in fact. So the community benefits, not just the child, but his family and all of the families who live in the area. These days you hear a lot of bad press about Africa. People say that there's no point in giving aid. Well, I can tell you from these last few days, what I have seen here has been something that will live with me forever. I know that the aid works. I know that giving very little can go a very long way. It gives people the chance of a longer life and a dignity that we all want for ourselves and for our children. I know we're all tightening our belts in Ireland, but for 86 cent a day you could sponsor a child. And to be honest, you couldn't even buy a cup of coffee for that. We're ready to leave this project here in Kenya because these people are now able to fend for themselves. They have the skills and the developments that will help them grow as a community. They have more to do, but they're ready for it now. And we have more to do here in Africa. So I really hope that you'll join us in taking the adventure just one step further. Go on. Go on, go on, go on.